Hello, I'd just like, I'd just like to apologise that I didn't get any videos out yesterday. Reason being is that, well, basically, uh, Disney doesn't like when uh, people are analysing their trailers for the leaked uh, Avengers Infinity War trailer. So, yeah. Um, I am still trying to upload that as the, as the moment because all I get is blocked worldwide. It's, well, uh, there are ways of actually uploading it, but I'm trying different things and I'm sorry I didn't get anything out yesterday. But what I find strange is that other people react to Infinity War where me, I don't get blocked worldwide. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. So, because of that, um, I do have another video to actually upload today, pretty serious one. Yeah, uh, today, going back to the Crash Bandicoot thing, today we're looking at my top 6 best Crash Bandicoot video, video games. Because we're doing that, we've looked at other aspects of Crash Bandicoot. I just thought we'd get out the simple one now. Here's the intro. Number 6, the Skylanders Imaginators Crash Bandicoot level. Now technically, this is not a Crash Bandicoot video game, it's just one level. But it also brought us back, like at the time this was the height point, and this was the point where you were able to play as Crash and also as Dr. Cortex. Everyone was really excited because this was going to come out in 2016, and that's why I feel like the newest Skylanders did so God damn well. Of course, the story mode is for mainly for kids, but I wouldn't say it's as bad as other Skylanders one. After all, Spyro does make an appearance in the Crash level, and you do get a boss battle for Fake Crash. You do, and also Cortex is in there, and references to Puppet Puppet, the Tiny Tiger, and also Dingle Dial in there, and also Puppet Puppet's. Um, Things are also in there, but this time they're not trying to attack you, they're just trying to help you, which really makes no sense because the last couple of games they're trying to kill you. They are, yeah. Number five, Crash Bandicoot Walk. Now, did you know this was one of the first Crash Bandicoot games I actually played? Um, I did. This is my main point of introduction to the Crash Bandicoot world. Now, I haven't told anyone this story yet, but Every time I bought Crash Bandicoot and I tried to play on my PlayStation 2, but at first for the PlayStation 1, yeah I didn't have a PlayStation 1 back in the day, believe it or not, uh, when I was very young, it did work then and it worked for some time on PlayStation 2, but we got a couple of copies and it still didn't work. But now we we played it on the PlayStation 3 and it did work, so let's say it has been a while since I actually played Crash 3 and I enjoy it more than Crash 2. I'm, Crash Bandicoot 1 is okay, Crash Bandicoot 2 is fine, but Crash Bandicoot 3 is the main point of Naughty Dog's success. And considering that you can actually buy it on the PlayStation uh, Store uh, for PlayStation 3 is amazing. So, yeah, I'm not keen on the first two. They're fine, it's just I'm not keen. For Crash the Wrath of Cortex, now I know what you're saying. But that game's rubbish. Yeah, it was rubbish, but for me as a kid, it was fantastic to see the redeeming factors of the levels and, and I don't know, somehow the easiness of it. And I didn't really care because this was kind of like one of the first official games that you play as Coco in different levels since Forks in those it was just vehicles, but now you're able to play as Coco in person, like she's moving around like Crash. And this was one of the games I liked as a child, and I still do now. Of course, I feel like the first boss is absolute shit. But the rest of the bosses are fine, including Dr. Cortex and Akuaku and Crunch's one. So, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Like, when I was young, I didn't really complain about the loading times. And I don't know why it's got... I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun 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 I know what you're saying, Crash Bash, you open, but yeah, that's a party game that is, this is actually a level game. Of course you're able to play as Cortex in that one, but you're actually able to play as Cortex again in full person, and including introducing a new character, Nina Cortex. This game was good, I couldn't really complete it, I got, I never got past the stage with the 1A, and then one day I did, and I think I one day I just completed it all, but... I would really like to play that again to maybe refresh my memory if I actually did because um, that was a long time ago that was. Um, so yeah, Crash Transanti is absolutely fantastic in every single way. And if I said to you, oh hey, if someone asked me, oh hey, would you, would you buy Crash? Or would you buy that? Or would I recommend you buy that? I would say yes, go ahead and buy it. Now it's on the PlayStation 2, Xbox and also on a mobile phone that not many people will actually have. But um, I removed this off my last list based video and I didn't say it because I think I already did it, I did. But I'm gonna, no it was on Eddie's at Gaming Time I forgot to say. Um, I will leave a link down below to Square Wide Jack's uh, download list where it's got questions and Now you can go ahead and try and actually port it onto the PlayStation 3 or 4 because I heard that is actually possible. Or emulator on your arm. I think I'll leave a link down below. But you do need a BIOS and you can't get it from a friend otherwise that's again. Number two, Crash Bash. Now people think that this was kind of like down grading point for this as of not that many people really like this game because it had something it, it felt naughty dog but it didn't now I played this game and I only got past Papa Papu in one other stage and then that was the rest of it was just too hard it was um, but I might revisit it now uh, considering that I'm cleaning up the schedule for all these games but in Crash Bash you're able to play as characters from Crash Bandicoot, Coco, Tiny Tiger, this other guy called, and we, I don't know, no one cares. Um, Daniel Dyer, I think you might like play as, um, Dr. Cortex, and Brio, and I think that's it really. Well, that's probably not what I'm The boss battles are from basically Papa Papa um, to that big bear that you get chased by in some of the Crash games. Um, also the Combo Brothers, um, they were in Crash 2 as a boss. Um, um, oh, Nitrous Oxide, there's probably one more, but I think that's it. So, yeah, but yeah, again, this was the first element of playing as the bad guys and playing as actual Coco and spinning for one. But then they improved it with the Math of Cortex, Trinsanity, Skylanders. And Crash and Same with Coco. And speaking of uh, Crash and Same Tricity, at number one we've got the Crash and Same Tricity. Now, this is probably everyone's favourite game because it's basically one, two, and three remastered. Now, one has actually got DLC called Stormy Ascent, um, it has, and it's one of the hard levels. Now, you're able to go ahead and access it, buy it, download it for free, and you're able to play it. On. If you go on to the first island, and there's a purple one, go go to it, one to it, you're able to go to it. It says two stormy ascent, click on X and press X and then it will take you to there. Now of course you can, this is not a way to cheat to actually get to Cortex earlier, but you get to see how it evolves. I haven't got past one of the stages temple ruins because well scared. But you're also in this, um, you're able to play as Coco and they have made it harder but everything that you knew with the secrets and this stuff, they're all sort of thing. Some cheats and glitches are there but not all of them are there as of the uh, where Jen has been put higher up 
than beforehand. Now the thing Dire Glitch is still there, secret levels are still there, secret gems, all of the hard stuff and also with more, with also the same bosses and, and I also noticed that Purple Purple had some more hits and Dingle Dial and also um, and Trophy being a bit more faster and also engine for Crash Bandicoot 2 being a bit harder but we need to know easy and easy for Crash 3 and Crash 3 engines boss it's amazing the graphics is amazing his suit is amazing the graphics of the earth the moon everything is amazing and the little animation between Coco and the little bear thing is amazing that I would recommend Crash Bandicoot Insane after all it was one of the best sellers in the UK as of number one and I think it still is till this day so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that my Avengers Infinity War Top 10 uh, Top 5 things will hopefully come out soon um, I don't know when but it will hopefully come out soon and yet again I am sorry um, I'm not too sure if I actually said to you guys this um, but I'm going to be releasing um, some sort of a trailer not for the Batman and New Start for Gotham because I need to edit a video beforehand and then I can actually carry on with that um, but for the nerd short film that I'm doing and then it'll go on to Star Wars because people are still voting and I'm quite happy about that anyway um, but all oh, by the way with the Crash Bandicoot and St. Jersey successes, I know I keep saying this, but you can't stop me. I really hope that this means that there's more from Crash or Spyro to come next. And I hope one day we get a remastered or remake whatever of Spyro Hills and Crash Fantastic because that's what I really like with DLC. So that's great. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go ahead, like, and subscribe. Check out one of my videos here. And also check out some Crash Bandicoot stuff on your screen at the moment. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. And I think we're going to do my top six best Spyro video games. Because, well, it's another easy one for me to do. Anyway, peace.